Hello you awesome people, this is Edward Z here and welcome to our early December live webinar. And in this one, our webinar is Automated Strategies to Grow, Succeed and Prosper. Now this is actually a very, very famous presentation of ours, a very worldwide acclaim. No, no, I can at least guarantee Sydney-wide acclaim. It's been a, a presentation we've done a lot to live audiences. Um, and I've done different evolutions of this previously in our live webinars. And to me, it's one I like to sort of do every three or four months because what it does is that this is a great webinar that gives basically the whole buffet, the whole shebang of some of the top automated marketing strategies that are available for small business owners. So welcome. It's a pleasure having you on tonight. We've got one, a great turnout already. And Jamie Simpson, thank you for getting in early. You are totally acknowledged and I love your work. So. Uh, <coughs> oh, uh, pardon me, got that frog out of my throat nice and early. Uh, so yeah, uh, just to let you know, the live webinar is being recorded now, so it will be available. And I want to give you some very profitable reasons to pay attention. Uh, I work with small business owners all the time. I've been a former marketing director and the strategies and ideas that we teach have been proven. Like, And when I say been proven, they've either been done by us or done by one of our direct clients. So we talk very much from actual real life, a practical experience, and the actual results have been amazing for many. And like all things, we appreciate your time. I know it's Thursday night. I want to deliver you the latest sales and marketing strategies. And we have our no bull, no cows, and no birds promise. So basically, no BS. We're just going to cut to the chase and give you the key information to help you totally kick butt in your business. Quick disclaimer as well, I'm a certified practicing marketer of the Australian Marketing Institute. All this information in the actual slides itself is of general advice only. So if you've got any questions, please ask. I would love to absolutely help you. And here are the whole point of our webinars, three core ideas. We wanna help you grow, succeed and prosper. Grow, get more profitable, high value clients and obviously sell more. Succeed, have the satisfaction you seek in your business and prosper. We want you and your families to be totally kicking butt. So you not only enjoy what you do, you're making some seriously awesome money. Now, there's quite a few people on the line tonight. I actually only know um, a few of you awesome people on the line tonight. But um, if you haven't met me before, my name's Edward Zier. I'm an ex-military, ex-corporate, gone marketing director and uh, a gone marketing mentor. I originally started in a technical background. I actually, I believe it or not, have a undergraduate in chemistry and throughout life I moved into marketing, did a postgraduate study in it. And it's all about helping uh, in my business days, all about helping business owners right from, you know, small business owners, entrepreneurs, and also do quite a bit of corporate and enterprise work as well, which I'm very, very proud of. Um, and it's just an awesome having you here. It's an absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure having you wonderful people here. And uh, just a little bit more about me, you know, I've done special projects for the government. I've been a former marketing mentor. Um, I'm also a Knight of the Order of St. John, and I do a lot of charity work, which I'm very excited about. And I've worked with hundreds over the years. So enough about me. I wanna talk to this about you, okay? Now, what is automation? Automation is about having other resources work for you. This could be people referring you business. It could be your Facebook post being seen by hundreds. and Really what it is is that um, with automation is, I'm not gonna say you can automate your whole marketing and not do any work, far from it. Um, but you can automate quite a great deal of it, which just sets you up for more and more success, which is really good. Now, what I want you to do is have a think about this one for a second, and I'm just gonna be quiet just for 20 seconds, and I want you to think about the top marketing strategies you're very interested in working on. So this is gonna be an interesting one for me. I'm actually gonna be quiet for 20 seconds. Just sit there and think. Just for a moment, what are the top marketing strategies that you like the sound of? What are the top things that are going through your mind? And write them down. Think about that for 20 seconds. And what I'm going to do is actually go through an array of them to help you come up with some great ideas. So this is going to be hard for me. I'm going to be quiet for 20 seconds while you figure that out. Okay, now that was very hard for me, right? I just deliberately was quiet for 20 seconds. And I want you to think about the marketing strategies you really like and that works really well for you. And one little thing that we just wanna go through quickly is when it comes to automation, we only want you to automate what already works. So 
if you've got problems in your business or there's something wrong with the customer service or you haven't got the right staff or you haven't got your offering nailed yet, it's very important to nail that. So we're just going to pay just some quick commentary to actually just getting your business right before you start automating it and putting in all the heavy sales and marketing strategies. So first things first. When these are very common challenges that a lot of business owners have, you got to be able to stand out, you got to be able to market as well as deliver the work, you got to have the reputation, got to be able to work out what to charge, and you got to make sure that you've got a great stream of clients coming your way already. Uh, you don't want to start, you know, doing the automated marketing strategies until you sort of get the fundamental business right. And here are just seven core ideas I just want to tap through. And by the way, the recording will be available. So feel free to stop and go through it when you get the recording. Also as well, feel free to ask me questions anytime. You guys will see the chat box. I am here, so please ask me questions so I can best help you. Step one, what's very important in your business is that you understand your key edge. What is unique about your business, okay? A lot of business owners, I would only say about 5% of business owners have clarity on this issue. Really understand what's unique about your business and what it stands for, because ultimately, that's why people are buying you. Something to very think about. Your reputation score, if you've just started your business recently or you haven't, or you've got a very small pond like I used to have, um, it may be, it may take a little bit of work to kick off your automated marketing. In simple terms that if everyone knows you already and you start some automated marketing, very easy to turn them into clients depending on what you're selling. If, however, you don't have much of a reputation, it can take a lot more work to build brand awareness and get you going. Now, we often talk about reputation score. It's basically a measure of your wins, your exposure, and the high profile jobs that you have. Okay, so something to think about. Packages and pricing. Make sure you've got really good pricing on your packages, okay? So, oh, correction. You may or may not have packages depending on your business, but make sure you're charging good prices. Why do you want to do that in very simple terms? Because you've got to make sure that when you get a client in, A, you're charging them a fair price, but B, you're getting the right rewards. And this is very important from a marketing viewpoint. Four, I love this one. You want to make sure you've got the right approach. You want to make sure that you're not burning yourself out and getting tired. And you want to make sure you're juggling your work in relation to your families. Five, you want to have your business and marketing plan set up. Our next webinar, which will be on in two weeks, is actually on this topic. So um, that'll be available um, to all you wonderful people. So just letting you know that, but you want to get that right. Number six, you want to, again, I'm not a business coach and I'm not pretending to be. I'm a marketing mentor. You want to keep yourself on track, okay? Um, and you want to make sure your mindset and all that is working correctly. And seven, you want to love your business. Now, I've just touched on a few things that, is, that I consider sort of key issues, okay, that you really want to get right into your business. Now, we're going to get straight into the heavy automation and marketing side of things. Three concepts I want to share with you. Setup is the time it takes, okay, to set up part of your business. That can be, you know, building a new website, setting up email marketing, or whatever the case would be. It's usually a time and a cost, okay? Something to be mindful of. I'm um, setting up something like MailChimp usually isn't too painful, but then building a whole website, oh yeah, that's a lot of work, okay? So it's good to be very mindful of that uh, scenario. Two, leverage. Leverage is the process of amplification. amplification. So I've got an awesome group of uh, at least 10 of you live on the line right now, which is really cool. So in other words, I'm doing one webinar, but I'm going to speak to 10 of you awesome people at once. Usually a lot of people listen to the recordings. Um, that's usually quite common in uh, live webinars. You get a few of the awesome coming and the rest of the, uh, live uh, the recordings. So basically I'm doing this once now. And let's say 10 of you, oh, now 11 now, uh, of you in real time are uh, listening to me. But the automation, once I've done this live webinar and recorded, it, it becomes permanent content for people to listen to. And that's really something cool, okay? So there's three concepts that we sort of um, dovetail on. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through 15 of, oh, just 15 different categories and top leverage and automated marketing strategies. And this is very good. So bring it back to the idea of growing, succeeding and prospering. These are the key things that we often work on with our clients. There's a lot more to it than this. Um, I'm more just going through just the different tools and just common areas we work in. I just want to give you some commentary. So questions, I love them. Please get me your questions. Number one, if you speak to my colleague, Martha or myself, you'll always talk about a quality website. Okay, so once you've got your business strategy right and you know what you're doing and all that type of thing, it's very important to have a high quality website. The simple reason is, is quite often before people will visit your center or your practice or hire you or buy your product or whatever, they will check out your website. And if the website's not perfect, it usually doesn't stack up. So you wanna make sure you've got a really good website um, and that looks good. You can get them done for relatively cheap prices. 
Um, look, you can um, go overseas and get them done. You can get them. You can get a free website. Um, you can have some. There's some great options out there. Usually, a custom website at really high quality costs you two or three grand. Um, or you can get um, our colleague Martha. She can do a website for seven hundred dollars, which is based on templates, which is also very good. So, depending on what you're after, my take is, you know. <clears throat> If you're spending at least, you know, five minimum of five hundred dollars for a very simple website, that usually can help you sort of get moving. Okay, but if you're sort of going and you're really serious about your business, you might even spend two or three grand on your website. So if you think about it, how many clients do you need to get it back? Basically, it's got to be mobile optimized. The site's got to be beautiful, and it's got to sell. I've got a one for you actually. Well, this is one of our big clients, Jebco Silicone Specials. Feel free to Google them. They're a really, um, it's a really good website that we've worked on and. It has helped them totally transform their business. Okay, so with a lot of clients by themselves, just changing their website transforms their business because, after all, how do people often shop these days? Online. Where do they go? Your freaking website. So, something very important to get right. Number two is email marketing. Email marketing is fantastic. Email marketing, because at the end of the day, we're doing all this work, we're getting clients in, we're getting leads in and prospects, or whatever the case may be. We need to stay in constant contact with the market. We need to stay connected to people. And the reason why we need to stay connected to people is so we're in the back of their minds. They're considering our services. They may be a prospect who hasn't bought our stuff yet, or they might have bought something previously, but we're trying to sell them something else or whatever the case may be. Or we want them to pass on our ideas to other people. Um, it's very important to always have a really good email marketing program. Um, I do you know, usually weekly emails. They get you know, at least a 20% open rate. And I usually recommend giving away a bit of light information um, and oh, giving out, give some really good information actually and having a light sell at the end. Um, we use MailChimp, it is a great platform, okay? So very good automated, very good automated leverage um, strategy. What you can do, and I haven't sort of commented on this one here, is that you can set up an autoresponder. So, and this is very autom a very automated strategy. So people go to your website, they sign up for your free video, whatever the case may be. Um, and they automatically opt in your database and get an email to them. Really, really good strategy. So email marketing is something I absolutely love, okay? Number three is blogging and content. Not for everyone, but boy, this is a great strategy. I absolutely love it. Uh, weblog <laughs> equals blog, it's today's newspaper. And I've always done, um, you know, I've always been an active blogger over the past few years. A, I personally enjoy it, but B, it's been very good for getting me a lot of clients because what it does is when you do, I usually like having a blog on your website, so you write blog articles, they sit on your website. When you do that, it just gets absolutely amazing attraction, okay? Because at the end of the day, instead of you just saying, oh, hi, my services, or buy from me, people start getting into you and realizing you're the expert nice and early. So great strategy, a big fan of blogging and content. For Facebook, again, I've done whole day workshops on Facebook. Um, now, Facebook, um, this is a whole nother conversation by itself, but the, what I love about Facebook and where it's going, video on Facebook is everything at the moment, okay? Uh, and that's why it's going, it's not just that, you've got Periscope coming into the market, which is part of Twitter, basically. Um, you know, you've got YouTube making their big push, um, but Facebook video has gone incredibly well, massive fan of it, okay? And basically, in the scenario of Facebook, it's just wonderful. It's just great. You know, you can have your business page, you can put videos in there, you can invite people to webinars, check out your products. It is really good. I post usually about four or five times a day now. It's I know that's a lot. I'm not suggesting everyone that does that. It depends on what your business is and what you do. But as a mentor, as a marketer, you know, Facebook's been a great platform to me. The good thing is, is that it's relatively inexpensive. Um, I've run it, you know, my take is you've got 10 bucks. Um, if you can spend $10 a day on your Facebook, that can work actually really well, okay, um, it's a great start. But it depends on the size of your business and how quick and how ambitious you are. But again, Facebook, I get seen thousands of times a day online by my target market. So Facebook, great. I just, uh, can't swear enough about it. I swear enough, not swear at it. I love Facebook. Um, now, and, and the thing with Facebook is Facebook can be quite automated. Let's say you've got a video that you get created or whatever and you want to pump that video through Facebook. You can do an advertising campaign for that video for $10 a day. So that can work really well. So again, as this, as we're talking about setup, leverage, and automation, um, it costs money, you know, we take money and time, you do your video, you whack it on a Facebook, you have what's called leverage that kicks in where, you know, you put it on, you know, you put it online and people see it. And the automation is, is once you set up the ad campaign, it's usually pretty easy to maintain, provided it's working on that. Five is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is awesome. It is about networking online. LinkedIn to me is, um, you can't, you have got the paid advertising feature, but a lot of people don't generally use it unless they're sort of bigger companies. A lot of corporates do, but not 
so much small business owners. But with LinkedIn, LinkedIn's a great platform. And to me, it's more about connecting with people personally on a professional basis. So it's not so, well, I suppose, is that an automated marketing strategy? Once you're connected to people, it, to me, it's more like the advanced form of the Rolodex. So I think LinkedIn is great. And they just updated their mobile app recently too. So I think LinkedIn is a very good platform. It's more business networking online, where Facebook to me is more getting out great content and insights, okay? So very, very good platform, okay? Um, very good for business to business. So it all depends what you're doing, especially targeting biggest, bigger business owners. Business networking is a awesome strategy, okay? So it really depends on what you're doing. Um, you know, for me, I used to do a lot of, you know, the smaller business networking groups, like for networking in the older days, and after things sort of changed and I moved on from there, to me, what it's all about, business networking can be very good. And what I recommend a lot these days are the business chambers. Now, if you're in Sydney, I'm, I'm talking Sydney from a Sydney viewpoint. Um, um, in Sydney, New South Wales business chamber is awesome and massive. You have a lot of movers and shakers go there. And when you do a great job, people end up hiring you or they end up you know, referring you and that sort of thing. Now, where to me it's a form of leverage is you can go to one event and you can, let's say, meet 20 people that night. So it's very good. Or you can be talking to groups of people. So I've always loved business networking. The trick is, um, and I, please don't make this mistake, um, I've been guilty historically of spending, um, a good example is I used to run for networking, great place, highly recommend it. Um, and I was probably there for about three or four years. For me, I probably outgrew it after about two years and I was ready for some of the bigger stuff. So it's good to make sure that you're networking in the right places. So something to, go, something to think about. So feel free to jump on Google. There's heaps of great options out there. But definitely New South Wales Business Chamber is what I recommend for a lot of people these days, especially if you're after more bigger ticket items and that type of thing. Very good strategy. And also the way it works is that it dovetails with other strategies. You meet, you know, 20 people at a business networking event, get them to Facebook and LinkedIn. So all that type of thing works good. And checking in with my audience too. If you've got any questions, please ask me. I'm right here. Love answering questions. This is a good one. This is one of my favorite. And this is a real world automated marketing strategy. It's about having referral networks. Now what a referral network is, is basically having a bunch of pals that refer you business and you return the favor somehow, generally by referring them business. Um, you can go to networking events, you can meet lots of people, you find complimentary traders and you actively refer people to each other. It could just be, you know, the old fashioned way, hey, I think you need, you know, such and such, or it could be the new fashioned way, whereas um, you share databases and you, you know, email people and that sort of thing. Great strategy and something to think about. This is one of my favorites, having a beautiful folio and materials. Instead of saying the same thing over and over and over again, what you can do is you have a beautiful sales document all done. I've helped a lot of clients um, you know, get these, um, get these started, work with their designs and that sort of thing. And uh, for me, it's really good. You can even check out my website. You can click on mentoring. You can actually download my corporate profile. So instead of people, let's say, ring me up and ask me a million questions, they'll often check out my website, go through all my details, and they know a fair bit about me before they um, actually talk to me. I recommend this for a lot of business owners. Now, my corporate profile thinks 18 pages. I don't recommend that. Four is usually good for most people. The reason why mine's so big is that oh, as a marketing consultant, it's not a bad thing to do. Okay, So just something to think about, um, having a really good uh, profile material. Um, listings and profiles. This is making sure you can be found online. It's about updating your Facebook business page, your LinkedIn, your Twitter page, your forums, and all that sort of thing. So it's about making sure your profiles are very updated online, and that can help you appear in Google, okay? Very, very important. Number 10, we dovetail straight into your Google and SEO presence. You, depending on what you do, not everyone can own Google, right? Um, or be number one in Google because, you know, it <clears throat> depends on what you do. But depending on what you do, and if you're a locally based business, get, appearing on the front page of Google is not a problem. Let's say you're a mechanic in Parramatta. We've got the awesome Rod Sanchez on the line, who is a um, high-end acupuncturist based in the city, okay? Usually for local businesses, appearing on page one of Google isn't a huge problem. You set up your Google place and you can appear. That can work very well. If you're not so much a local business per se, which I'm certainly not, I'm quite Sydney and nationwide, I guess when you count my online side of things, I've got quite a few clients in Queensland and Melbourne too. You want to think about the search terms you want to appear for, okay, where you really want to dominate online. And uh, the trick is uh, SEO is a whole conversation. Hey, Rod Sanchez, he just picked me up. The trick with SEO and Google is that it's a whole area by itself. And again, it's we're not going to go into it, but where this um, dovetails in perfectly with 
is having an awesome website. So you need an awesome website. It's critical you've got an awesome website because basically this is quite often the thing that will get indexed by Google to appear, you know, high somewhere. So let's say, you know, you're Rod Sanchez, awesome guy. You're an acupuncturist based in Sydney CBD. You need acupuncture, for example, Sydney CBD and the map on your website all throughout there so it appears. So it's very important. Um, so you notice that one thing that I'm sort of saying is all these strategies just fit together, <clears throat> okay? You sort of can't have really good SEO without a decent website, okay? It's very hard to run an email marketing campaign if you don't have a website to send people back to, okay? So you can sort of see how it's all coming together and how it all sort of fits in, okay? So they all sort of fit in together, but SEO is very important. Um, and necessarily you don't need to pay SEO companies big bucks. It can just be running your, um, sorry, missed it, just running your site incredibly well. Great strategy, highly recommended. Free and paid events. This is a live webinar, which I'm doing now, which is a free live webinar, which is incredibly good, okay? It works incredibly well. Um, so right now I'm speaking to 13 people live and heaps of people will be watching the recording afterwards, okay? Um, webinars are great. Um, you can also do a live events too. So we do live events, we do free webinars, and again, it's not for everyone. Not for, I'm not saying you know everyone run out there and do live events, but if you're a coach, consultant, or mentor, or, you know, if you're selling a product needs an active demonstration, it can work really well. Quite often, um, events are a great strategy for coaches, consultants, mentors, property people, accountants, health professionals too. So a lot of different things that you can do there, okay? Webinars, you're on one now. I really love it, right? So tonight, you know, I've got a good group of you awesome people. What's interesting um, and what I love about live webinars is that um, even though I've got, let's say, 13, right? I've got 13 people on tonight's live webinar, right? That's not necessarily a massive number. Like, it, it, although 13 on the surface may not sound that big, but if you actually think about it, they're 13 heavily engaged people. Because let's face it, if you're willing to give up, you know, time on your Thursday night to live here from me, means you're an awesome, A, I think you're awesome, but B, it means you're quite involved in marketing. You're, you're like, you're quite into the topic. So, you know, <clears throat> the thing I've really been able to appreciate, especially over the past three months, it's not so much about having, you know, 800 people see your stuff. It's about having, to me, the right 10 people see your stuff. So I actually found, and just on a side note too, sort of just coming back to the free and paid events, we used to spend a lot of our time running big seminars and all that sort of thing. We still do that. We often do a lot of um, seminars now through partners. We've got one coming out in February next year. But what we found is interesting is that quite often we get a lot of clients out of events where we just have 10 people. So for the simple reason is you can focus on people, get to know them on a deeper level. So just something to think about. Um, and I used to, a lot of people used to always think, oh my God, it's all about having a hundred people in the room. We've actually found the opposite. Sure, we do events of a hundred people, but quite often we find the small workshops are incredibly powerful. So just a great idea I just want to put out there for you wonderful people. Um, oh, this bit I made reference to before. Really, 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 really good form of automation. Um, and Lead Pages is a program you could set it up now, or you could just get your web person to do it. But basically, what it is is that you set up a sign. You know, basically, what I'm talking about here is using automation where people can go to your website, they can sign up for something, they can get it right away. Um, you know, they can join your database, all without any work from yourself. This is one of my favorite forms of automation. Actually, people can visit your website anytime access your materials and you've captured their email address, they're viewing your videos without you having to do any work. Um, you can do that on my website. If you haven't already, feel free to go to my website um, and sign up and get some materials sent to you. Um, yeah, so it works incredibly well. Another good example is with a live webinar you signed up to. Um, with a live webinar you signed up to, you signed up to a live webinar and um, what it does, signs in a live webinar and adds you to my database. All completely automated. So great process, which is something I absolutely highly recommend. Um, and um, the, again, this isn't for everyone, but if you're selling more information, you can create your own online knowledge base. Mine's the Awesome Marketing Vault, which if you're not a client, I invite you to go check it out. It's a really cool way of getting my knowledge. And also as well, um, a lot of additional technologies as well. So, you know, you've got, I haven't even made reference to YouTube, Twitter, yeah, you've got heaps of different things. So just as a quick recap, and please get your questions through. We're really going well tonight for time, okay? As a quick recap, um, I'm just gonna go through, um, just do a quick recap just to put everything in place. Um, it's all about getting your business right first. Don't just jump into automation. You wanna get your business healthy, make sure it's all um, going incredibly well. 
and you want to get your marketing right. You want to make sure that, uh, you know, you got your edge right, great reputation score, your pricing's right, your business approach is right, you've got a marketing plan and all that type of thing. And when it comes to the actual marketing strategies, as a recap, you want to make sure these are the top ones. Have a great website. Email marketing is just brilliant. Um, blogging and content is a great strategy for many people. Facebook, I just noticed the awesome Alandau, um, who's a high-end photographer, is online. Hey, Landau, I'm just going to pick on you on this one. And I was saying, I think I said this to you the other night when we uh, caught up at a business chamber event. If I was a photographer, I would pump out um, photos all day on Facebook. I'd just take awesome ones from my phone, stick them straight on Facebook, and I would make a mozza that way. So, you know, heaps of different things. And in that case, like just using photography as an example, you could take photos um, on your phone, stick them straight on Facebook, and it won't take you long. If you're a photographer, any photographer can grab a decent modern day phone and take an amazing photo, boom, straight on Facebook. So very powerful of giving yourself that continual um, contact. LinkedIn is fantastic, especially for targeting for bigger business owners. Um, I've noticed we've got, yes, Alistair Boyd. How are you, my friend? Got you on the line tonight. I know you target a lot of businesses. Um, LinkedIn can be a great way of identifying um, who's the bigger people and bigger manufacturing business and that sort of thing. So great strategy. Business networking, um, usually these days I recommend the chambers. The um, small business networks are okay, but I usually find the um, business chambers overall over the years, my reflection has been small business networking groups can suit you, but the business chambers are just powerful and really impressive. Building your referral networks is a great strategy. Once you set that up, people are automatically referring you clients. That's pretty cool. I love it. Having great sales material is a good one. Making sure that you're visible online is critical. Uh, making sure that um, your site's set up correctly and everything's good, so you appear well on Google. Running events if it suits you. Doesn't suit everyone, but does suit a lot of small business owners. Webinars, well, you're listening to one now, they're pretty cool. And you've got more advanced strategies like using lead pages and all that. And um, yeah, and just in essence, um, a lot of the strategies I've gone through isn't for everyone. Um, the idea that I want you to sort of suggest is think about what sort of resonated with you. So if you go back to that, um, hey, Alistair, you just said hello. If you go back to the original 20 seconds we had at the start where I sort of said, hey, calm down, everyone, you know, I'm going to disappear for a minute. I want you to sort of think through what areas of your business you really want to work on, okay? Um, what sort of resonates with you? What do you really want to focus on? And put an action plan. What I always say um, to myself personally in the mirror and to my awesome clients is, <clears throat> Pardon me. All you got to do is take one great idea and implement it now to get massive results. And uh, yeah, hey, get your questions through. I'm just going to wrap up the webinar. This has been a very intense half now. Um, oh, if you, you guys are already automatically in my database because the fact that you're in the webinar means you should be there. Um, so what you can do is, if you haven't already, feel free to email me. I could send you my free marketing plan, template, and automated strategy guide. You can also just um, re-sign up at my website, the excellenceabove.com.au. So usually I send out weekly emails with heaps of tips and insights and free live webinars like this one. Um, check out my blog as well. I've got, usually got daily tips and marketing insights. A recording will be going through there. Feel free to follow me on Facebook. I've got heaps of great stuff going through there as well. And um, yeah, if you're interested as well, two great ways of um, working with me is um, for $97 a month, you can join my online awesome marketing vault where you great, get great access to content and ideas and that type of thing. Um, and basically what it is is that a huge knowledge base. Um, it's got a lot of videos, got a lot of information, a lot of webinar recordings get um, uploaded there. And also it includes unlimited email access to me. So $97 a month is a great, obviously very low cost, a great study option to get access to me and great ideas. So feel free to sign up my website now. Um, that's very good. And also private mentoring. You can hire me at $5.50 a month and upwards, which is really good. So hey, please get your questions through, just sort of um, wrapping things up. Um, just a quick thanks for the imagery. I've you know, used imagery from Spock, Salvation Army, Order of St. John, Fallout, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Eric Cartman, Samuel Worthington. So just want to acknowledge all the people where I've used their imagery. And so there you go. This is thank you from Martha and Edward. Martha um, quite often um, joins these webinars. She's been awesomely flat out, so hasn't joined us tonight. Um, but Martha Arafin, my colleague, she is the one who does websites. If you need a hand there, um, feel free to email me and I can give you all details or introduce you to us. So there you go. Thank you. This has been out of all the webinars um, I've ever had, this has had the least amount of questions. So I assume that 
you guys are just startled with the information I've uh, given you. So yeah, feel free to check everything out. I've um, got all the resources also as well. Feel free to share my stuff on Facebook. And of course, if you're not a client already, I'd love you to consider being a client. So check out my website, excellencebuff.com.au. Heaps of great options. So there you go, awesome people. We've we've come in under half an hour. This is just damn cool. So what I'm going to do actually is um, I'm going to stop the recording right now. And uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, feel free to get through. So just as to wrap up for the recording, this is Edward Zier signing out. It's an absolute pleasure having you all here. It's been one awesome event tonight, and you people are awesome. Um, stay cool. Check out the recording and you know where to find us so we can help. This is Edward Zier signing out.